Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through some of the problems on the 10B assignment. Okay, so first one is number one. Types of ticket used to attend a basketball game were recorded as people entered the stadium. The results are shown alongside. So that uh, means there's 1,824 adult season ticket holders, 779 uh, child season ticket holders, so forth and so on. Okay, so a says what's the total attendance for the match okay so that means we got to add all these things up to come up with our total attendance right so we will do 1824 plus 779 plus 3247 and 1660 okay that gives us 75 10 so 7,510 is the total attendance for the match, okay? And then it says, part B, one person is randomly selected to sit on the home team's bench. Find the probability that the person selected is a child. So we know that there are a total of 7,100 and, ooh, sorry, 7,510 total people that are um, in the, at the basketball game. Okay, well, now we got to figure out how many total how many total children there are. So we would just have to add these two together. So we would take 779 and add 1660 to give us a total of 2439. So we have 2439 total uh, children at the game. So we take 2439 out of the 7510 total to figure out what our uh, probability is right so we simply just take that divided by 75 10 and we get 32.5 percent if we round it off all right okay let's take a look at number three students at a school were asked whether they played a sport in the junior school 131 students played a sport and 28 did not so the junior here, let's fill out our chart here. It says that's part A anyway, copy and complete the table. So 131 juniors played a sport, 28 did not. Um, in middle school, 164 played a sport, and 81 did not. And in the senior school, we had 141 that did and 176 that did not okay copy and complete the table so we're going to just want to add stuff up to complete our table and then away we go right so we got 131 and 28 for a total of 159 at the junior school whatever that is must be elementary or like the upper elementary something like that 164 and 81 it means there are 245 at the middle school and then 141 and 176 give us that there are 317 total at the senior school okay so now we also want to add them um, add them um, add them all up this way as well okay i'm going to go ahead and do that Okay, and then here's what we get. So we got 436 here, 285, and 721, right? Okay, so we have copied and completed our table. B, find the probability that a randomly selected student plays a sport. So we know that there are 721 total students. How many of those 721 play a sport? That would be the 433. Okay, so now we take our 433 and divide it by 721. All right, and we get basically 60.1. Right, just about 60%, a little higher. And then uh, two here says what's the probability that a randomly selected student plays a sport and is in a junior high school and that's this is still find the probability that a randomly selected student so we're still selecting from the 721 so what's the probability that they play a sport uh, and is in the junior school 
So that would be this group here. So 131 out of 721, right? And that gives us 0.182 if we round it off. So just over 18% on that one. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Number four, small hotel in London keeps a record of all room bookings made for the year. The results are summarized in a two-way table. Uh, I'm going to actually go back. Realize I made a mistake here. This should be a six here. 436. This is 285. Not sure how I messed up those numbers so bad, but my apologies. So that will change this. Um, let's see. This will be 436 instead of uh, 433, and that ends up being 0 0.605. Okay. Um, this one here should be okay. All right. Sorry. Um, we are on seven. All right, so we're we've got our data here. It says S um, number four, S the small hotel in London has kept a record of all room bookings made for the year. Results are summarized in a two-way table. Estimate the probability that the next randomly selected booking will be in the peak season. Okay, so peak season. So that's all of these here. So we want to figure out what this total number is here, right? Okay, so let's go through and calculate that up. That's just going to be 225 plus 420 plus 98, and then we'll also have to add these all up. All right? Okay, so we added them all up here. So probability the next randomly selected booking will be in the peak season. There are 743 total bookings in the peak season out of the possible 1,235 uh, total bookings. Okay, so now we can just go through and calculate that. We get 743 divided by 1235, and we get 0 0.602. Okay, so just over 60%. Uh, okay. Uh, estimate the probability the next randomly selected booking will be, so again, still out of the 1,235 total bookings, a single room in the off-peak season. So single, off-peak, that's going to be this 148 right here. Okay, so now we can calculate that. 148 divided by 1, 2, 3, 5. And we get 11.98, so that really is 12.120, so it's about 12%, okay? All right, and those are the ones that um, have been chosen to do for the 10B assignment. So if you have any further questions, please feel free to ask. Thanks.